Hello everyone, in this video, we'll look into tonometry IOP measurement. This video will be divided into three parts, and in the first part, we'll discuss about the introduction to tonometry, unit of tonometry, reason to perform tonometry, indication and contraindication, normal range of intraocular pressure. Now, let's begin with the introduction. What is tonometry? Tonometry is the test that measures the pressure inside your eye, which is called intraocular pressure IOP, and the instrument used to measure IOP is called a tonometer. What is the unit of tonometry? Most tonometers are calibrated to measure pressure in millimeters of mercury (mmHg), and the normal range of intraocular pressure will be given at the end of the video. So stay with us till the end. Why do we perform tonometry? Our eyes are filled with different fluids that keep them healthy. New fluid is constantly made and old fluid drains out. But if the drainage system gets plugged, the fluids build up which leads to the rise in pressure inside our eyes. Over time, high pressure inside our eye can damage optic nerve which sends images from eyes to brain. If it's left untreated, it can cause glaucoma. Now, let us discuss about the indication of tonometry. When do we perform tonometry? Your doctor may order for tonometry test if they suspect you may be at risk of glaucoma. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, you may be at risk of glaucoma if you are over 40 years of age, have a family history of glaucoma, are nearsighted or farsighted, have other chronic eye conditions, have injured your eye in the past, have diabetes, have high blood pressure, have poor blood circulation, have used corticosteroid medication for prolonged periods of time. Your doctor might also test your intraocular pressure if you are experiencing symptoms such as gradual loss of peripheral vision, severe eye pain, blurred vision, halos around lights, and reddening of your eyes. Contraindication of tonometry. Corneal defects, abraded cornea, may cause further injury. Patient with recurrent corneal erosion, patient with active infection, patients who cannot maintain a relaxed position and suspected penetrating injury. Normal range of intraocular pressure. As I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video, according to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, the normal eye pressure is usually considered to be between 10 to 22 mmHg. Now, in the next video, we'll be discussing about the types of tonometer and its procedure. So, stay tuned for more videos.